So next up we'll be doing that little repair on the passenger side guard there. Pretty straightforward one. I just gave it a quick hand scuff. Just with an old bit of 320, just to scratch it up. I should have given that a stir. It's all right, it'll be okay. It's been sitting for a while, but what was that? It'll be all right. He's gonna need a second fill, because that was pretty deep, and I'll try getting up inside there, but um, as you can tell, I haven't got much room here. I don't, I don't even actually have jacks and jack stands, so I think I would have had to have like taken that guard liner out. So, mate, it's not even worth it for a quick little freebie dent there. Um, so yeah, it's all good. So here we go. Always put those glasses on when we're using the UV light here. Not good for the eyes specifically. Yeah, how long are we gonna go for? 12 seconds? Might give it two zaps for what it's worth. Awesome light, this thing, too. I'm gonna go start again. There you go. There you go, that's all it is. Just a few LED lights. And that'll cure it up. There we go, two zaps. That'll be enough. I'll get my razor blade just to shave a bit of it down. I'll get my block too. What have we got here? That'll be good. I need to get myself a few adapters so that I can actually plug these pinkies blocks, the dustless blocks, into there. But I've got one at work, but I don't have an adapter here at home because it's um it's too big of a vacuum cleaner attachment. So that's why, for now, I'm just making a mess with all the dust there. Nearly didn't need the second skin, but I think I will. Yeah, we will. We'll give that a very a very light second skim, I reckon. There is a bit of a high spot, so all I'm gonna do there is it, like where it pushed in, it's obviously pushed it up here, but my mate's not gonna get too fussy about it. It's not exactly, you know, a high dollar car. It's just, just a tidy up, really. You nearly, nearly leave that, but it's so easy to just give it another quick skim that will just do it. Um, may as well do these ones in the bonnet at the same time. Yeah, that's probably why there's a couple of pinholes in this one, because I didn't stir it. I should have stirred it up, but I can't be bothered making a bit of a mess getting a stirring stick. It's getting to the point where I'm just about ready to go inside. It's um, probably about 8.30 at night at the moment, so. That'll be fine. Um, I might use the green stuff because I found that to be better for the, the small chips. So we've got the pink stuff there for the big repairs. And this stuff here for the smaller ones. And that's going to need a stir. Uh, what kind of a stirring stick have I got?
Yeah, you press that one and it turns it to an on and off with the trigger. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, I don't need, need to count with this one. 10, that's all it needs. Where's that razor blade of mine? Yeah, I just want to get this ready for primer tonight, so I'm not actually going to do the masking, but that'll leave it for tomorrow night or the night after. All I'll have to do is mask and then prime. That's good, that's really good. Those pinholes are gone and it's nice and smooth. You might have noticed I've got this extra light up here too. So that that's mobile, I can whack that around anywhere I like. It's actually pretty good. So I'll just give it a bit of a wipe down to clean it down. And that's gonna be me for this session. So that's it for one session. It's probably been about two hours. I haven't been busting a gut today, but just sort of give you guys a look at the progress. And yeah, two hours worth of work. That's where we're up to. So we got the, the bonnet sanded down. We got the parts taken off. I did the spectro reading, as I mentioned at the very start. We did that little repair there that needed two skims of the UV filler. And there was also that little bit of damage up the top there. So that's all been sanded out and scuffed down. But yeah, that's ready for a mask and prime, so I reckon we're making pretty good progress. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone for watching, and if you'd like to support the channel further, you're more than welcome to go over and check out some of the merchandise we've got. My personal favorite is those spray suits, so they're a good quality collab branded spray suit with a gunman logo on it there's also hats drink coolers hoodies and t-shirts so be sure to go over and check out the link in the description if you are interested <laughs> <laughs>